Wise men and fools have the same mother. She gave them birth to help one another. Then she prayed that the wise men could heal the foolish one. The fool rambles on even though no one is listening And the wise man cannot undo what God hath done I'm in it! I'm in it! You think he knows us? Let's go find out, Speed. Paul? Paul! Ain't you even gonna stop and say hello? Why? We're your sons, that's why. So? Here, I kept her oil for you, Pa. You kept your oil for me. And what you boys been doing for the past 12 years? We're not boys anymore, Pa. During that 12 years you were in prison, we were growing up, in case you didn't notice. Me and Phoenix, we, we picked up work where we could, and we stuck together just like you told us to. And we took care of Slow. Had to keep a close watch on him. I've been real good, Pa. A couple of months ago, he near got strung up down in Shale City. What's the matter with you, you fool? Don't you realize you're a 33-year-old man and that you're, you're a tiger? 33-year-old idiot. You know, I got a feeling that you boys have had something on your minds ever since you met me this morning. Well, whatever it is on your mind, why don't you spit it out? Say it straight, just like a man. Straight out then, Paul? Straight out, Gail. Are we headed for that gold you got hid? <laughs> I've taken care of all three of you since you was pups. Without any help. Haven't I always gotten you what you wanted? You never needed for nothing. We're not talking about eating money here. We've been waiting for 12 years, Paul. Waiting with no money. Waiting for you to get out. Come on, Slow. Let's get right. You know, Phoenix, Twelve years ain't changed a damn thing. He's still the same old B. Taggart. And he still favors that half-wit brother of ours. Clara, Taggart got out today. And I can promise you one thing. I won't ever forget. Twelve years ain't long enough to let forgiveness push all the bad thoughts out of my head. I will get even with him, Clara. You've got my word.
Spanish. Consuelo, underlay, hey, underlay! I'll tell you that. <laughs> Here, come on, get over that table. Smiley! Smiley, get your ass over here. You got customer just come in. Oh, B Taggart? <laughs> I thought that was you. Yeah. Yeah, well, that thing, and I recollect you come through here some years back, right? About Twelve years ago. Yeah. yeah. Now, you stop me if I'm wrong, because I recollect you was in the company of a couple of federal marshals, wasn't you? You know where they was taking the old man, Smiley? To the federal prison. Jack Paris. O.B. Taggart. Federal prison. <laughs> well, maybe so, but they was taking him to jail. That's where dogs like you belong. They should have strung you up after you let my sister die, O.B. You ought to say hello to your, your nephew here. Slocum, say hello to your uncle, Jack. He ain't nothing to me. Go back to your drink, Jack. Even though you were Clara's brother, you can only stay healthy so long. Old man, you've got a lot more after you than the feds. My advice to you is, just keep going. What's that I smell back there, Smiley? What you got cooking back in that pot? Well, I got stuff. Never can tell when... Why would you say stuff that's stuff not by. telling me what you got in the pot? Well, I got tortillas, I got lizard yeah. steaks, and ham hocks, and uh, stewed tomatoes, that's chili down, beans, and cow brains. Bring that shit out of here. We're hungry. We've got grown boys, right, uh, boys? Haggard, I want you to eat all you want. I think a man that's gonna die, he ought to have what he wants. It's your patch, not mine. I don't want no trouble. <laughs> what the hell did he do anyway? Now he got my sister, mother of that whelp of his. Fat with another child. Woo-wee! Didn't learn his lesson the first time. And he claims he robbed that gold to save her life. You know, medicine and all that. Well, did he? Hell no, it just caused a lot more trouble. The gold, that's what he wanted, was the gold. Maybe that's why they's out there. Must have got wind of Piggy Benson's strike. You never did say where we was headed, Pa. No, I didn't. You'll know soon enough. We got a right to know. You're a pushy son of a bitch. Well, you ought to be the expert old bitches. God knows you've laid enough of them. Blue! Cat off! I'm sorry I made you mad. Damn it, it seems like I'm always having to tell you I'm sorry for something. I always wondered why them lawmen didn't get the gold back. Well, when the federal marshals moved in on OB, he told them that the bushwhackers had already been there and cleaned him out. Prison don't kill a man's craving for gold. Mr. Paris, would you get the door, please? Yes, sir. All right. You know, all the time you was in prison, we kept our faith. Said Pa's got that gold stashed away somewhere. We planned on living a whole lot better once you got out. He done right by us. He gonna get us a big spread, ain't you, Pa? Well, you just be quiet, Slocum. My Pa, O.B. Taggart, law-abiding sodbuster. Dear God, I can see it now. Gil. There you are, Mr. Taggart. My special blue plate here. Right on the trail. There you go, boy. It's really hot now. What? At your front plate. Don't touch your food. <laughs> They're good to, to look at and to poke, but you, you don't want them touching the food. You know what I mean? Quick, quick. Don't you. Not to touch the food. No! You heard her. Hey, now, Smiley, that's my boy. 
Slocum. He gets mad when somebody treats a girl bad, tries to hurt her. You understand, Miss Riley? This is a fire. Consuela. Sí? Más tequila, por favor. Aquí. You've got ten minutes to fill your belly and get, Taggart. Can't you hear what I said, old man? Or are you so old you lost your hearing? My sister's probably better off dead than being with you, you slimy little pig. And you, you moron. You're a blight on my sister's memory. Slow, he just called you a moron. Are you gonna take that? I wouldn't. for this. between here and there. Jack Paris just died right there in my kitchen. Died? Blood was spurting out like you wouldn't believe it, Bottle. Must have cut one of them big veins there. He just slipped away, bled to death, I guess. Oh, B, hey, look, now, don't worry about paying for that food. Oh, I never that... mind about the food, Smiley. I want you to remember one thing. It was self-defense, right? Yes, sir, it was, it was self-defense. Yeah, and don't you forget it, Paul. Being here slow as uncle, the least we can do is give the man a decent burial. Well, well but now, you know, that, that won't do, because I've got to send Consuelo over to get the sheriff so uh, the sheriff can see him, and I'll be able to explain exactly how it happened. Self-defense, like your daddy said. Self-defense. Dear Lord, what is that? <laughs> Looks like a desert rat to me. All right, boys. Get your horse, get saddled up, and let's get out of here. Smiley! Leaving it up to you. You see that Jack Paris gets a decent burial. Yes, sir, that I will. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm late, uh, uh, Paris. Uh, I'd have been an hour earlier, but I, I had to stop off at the SA office and uh, pick up my gold dust. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> and, and you know, young Lucas said that uh, Mr. Paris here would pay me uh, cash for my claim. <laughs> It's a real strike, Mr. Barris. Uh, you know, 20 years I get up there and then them hills uh, searching for gold. Well, I finally found it. <laughs> it's good for what ails you, too. Yeah, it, think yeah. it. Yeah, That there? <laughs> that there ain't Mr. Barris. Huh? That there is Mr. O.B. Taggart. And the boys, they're his son. Looks like you come along well on the trail. You must be thirsty. <laughs> Maybe you ought to get yourself a swig or something. Wet those pipes of yours, huh? Ah, <laughs> oh, boys! Excuse me. Uh, excuse me. I had a long day today, and I, I kind of took her down. I uh, can't remember much. Uh, as a, a matter of fact, um, I, I, I don't even know whether I, I have just one uh, vein in my claim or I, I gotta go back and, and, and dig some more. <laughs> yeah, they're gone now, Mr. Paris. For a minute there, I thought they was gonna come back here and get you and bury you for real. 
bastards didn't leave me much face. Let me see what you got. Oh, man, you got a real bleeder there. Yeah. Well, I better send Consuela to get uh, the winter pines. She's good at that uh, stitching up. As long as I can get fixed up soon enough to even up the score. Now don't you go looking for no more trouble. Hey, Piggy, what you doing, rooting in the mud? Huh? What you doing? You want it? It's yourn. Don't mean nothing to me anyhow. I'll just keep going on digging. Shut your mouth, Piggy. Throw me that bag. Hey, you want to be my partners? There's enough gold in that mine to make us all rich. And we can buy big cigars and buy some fancy women. You want to be my partner? I got me enough partners. I got three sons. Come on, slow. Hey, what do you got against me anyhow? I never done you no harm. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. What are you doing? He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still water. He restoreth my soul. Coming along nicely, Mr. Paris. You telling me I'm all healed up? Only three days? Well, you will be carrying some scars. But then, don't we all? Hey, little brother. Speak, come here. Come here. Yeah. You hungry? Had a bite all day. I'll take a leg. What the hell did you do that for? Didn't want him to die of old age. <laughs> you know, I think it's about time, boys, that I remind you of something I told you when you were just kids. There are two kinds of killings. One is killing for killing. The other is killing for purpose. Now, killing for purpose, there's nothing to be ashamed of. Killing for killing. That's no good. The reason I told you that, I'm gonna remind you about, well, that little miner, Piggy. Nobody had to kill him. Don't much matter now. He's gone to a better place. <laughs> I don't know. I guess maybe 12 years ago, I might have done the same thing. But during those long, hard 12 years I had to do, I got to thinking a lot. And I thought about the fact that, uh, well, there's room for everybody in this world. Hear me? Room for everybody. Well, it's good to have some gold, Paul. People just look at you different when you got some gold. You yeah, and that gold. Come on, slow. We'll turn in. Oh, Paul, what about the rabbit? Um, I'm tired and I was hungry. Don't get burned, boys.
You ain't fooling me, Phoenix. Um, could be he means to settle down to ranching. Ranching is the last thing on that old man's mind. It ought to be the last thing on our mind. We ought to keep thinking about that gold. You know, it's possible that after we robbed that train, somebody did take that gold from him. The Bible says? Oh, that Phoenix, you don't believe that bullshit. That old man knows exactly where that gold is. What I was going to say is, the Bible says that good things come to them that are patient. Happens with faith. Faith? I swear to God, ever since you got religion, I'm having a hell of a hard time trusting you. Watch them, that farmer, too. I'll go up there and see if he's friendly. I'll do it. Evening, friend. I don't mean you no harm now. Stranger in these parts? Yes, sir, I am. My name's Gail Taggart. What about that other one and in, in, in them down there? Well, this is my brother here. And the other two, that's my pa and my other brother. Ooh. He likes cows. Well, sir, I'm a uh, name Sam Lawrence, and uh, this here's my wife. Ma'am. My daughter. Jenny? This is my daughter here. What is it we could do for you? Well, we're going to be riding around this valley for a few days trying to find ourselves a little place so we can settle down. We might be neighbors. Well, yes. yes. Well, yes, sir. All right. <laughs> yes, sir. Well, you come on in. Well. I tell you, I think you might just want to stop, rest up here, get yourself something to eat. Uh, you can use the bunkhouse. It's on the other side of the corral. We don't have any help anymore, so you just have that place all to yourselves. Well, if we're not intruding on anybody. No, no. We'd be happy for the company. Just uh, go on now, wash yourself up. You know, <laughs> when you want to. And when the spirit moves you, you come on up to the house and, and them other ones too. Much obliged, Mr. Lars. My mama's cooking chicken for dinner tonight. Yeah, and there's plenty of it. You're mighty welcome to it, sir. That sounds mighty good. We appreciate it. Speed! I'll meet you down at the bunkhouse. Uh, come on, Jay, get them beans started. Strange to have three handsome men at my dinner table. Oh, four. Excuse me, Sam. <laughs> you know, if our Paul wasn't so tired, he'd be here with us. He's not as young as he used to be, and he just had to get a little rest. It does my heart good to see three sons so devoted to their father. Mm -hmm. Jenny, I want you to take a lesson from these boys. If you don't mind me saying, you men seem a little old to be hanging around your pa. How come you don't have missus and kids of your own? Ooh, we waiting for our pa. He been in a... A religious, uh... Pilgrimage. Pilgrim. Religious pilgrimage. Uh, you see, Mr. Lawrence, uh, our father's a, a godly man. Amen. Well, I'd say he was a very lucky man as well to have three such sons as yourselves. And he raised us all by himself, too. Oh, then your mama's... Can I milk your cows? We milk the goat. The cows are for slaughtering and eating. Oh, no, that ain't right. It's okay. They don't feel anything. Slow. Let's go. 
Jenny, dear, get some food for the boys to take to Mr. Taggart. Clear the dishes. It's nearly your bedtime, darling. Jenny's got some chores to do early in the morning. Slow. We better get some rest, boys. She sure got pretty hair, don't she, Slow? Uh, before you men leave, um, I just want to say that uh, I enjoy the company of strangers. <laughs> I'll go along with it, Mr. Lawrence. It was mighty good for us to be here, too. Especially since Miss Lou Ann, Miss Lawrence, such a good cook. Pardon me, ma'am, for seeming so familiar. Well, that's all right, Mr. Taggart. I rather like being called by my given name. My brothers and I thank you, and may the good Lord look kindly on you till the break of day. Amen for that. Thank you. Go on, slow. Much obliged. Must be nice to come from a Christian family like that. How long have you folks been married? Oh, about 15 years now. 15 years. All them boys. That's nice, huh, Mrs. Lawrence? Not now, Sam. Just wait till I finish the dishes first. Sweet nights. <laughs> I love nights like this. The stars are so bright. Yeah, it's mighty pretty out here. Ain't it slow? Good night, Jim. Good night. Why didn't you give her a little good night kiss? We held you over till morning. Oh, we'll catch up to her. You'll be all right. your food, Pa. Are you cold? <laughs> I can't remember when I was ever warm. They kill cows, Pa. I know, son, but they... they've been killing them for a long time. Slow. You are so lucky. Your Pa really loves you. And you're lucky I'm so tired I don't get up and tell you where to go. How to get there and I'll get your ass in bed, Gil. Can I stay here? Yeah, you can stay here for a while. Once upon a time. Phoenix, you can pray later. God, you know, the more trouble Slow gets to be. The sinner Pa is going to go after that gold he's got hid. Go on back to your praying. Say one for me, little brother. God knows I need it. same time every morning to feed the chickens and milk the cow maybe like Jenny's doing now I mean I, I like to sleep a little bit longer but I kind of feel sorry for that pretty little old thing having to get up out of her nice warm bed at the crack of dawn
What's your cow's name? It's not a cow. It's a goat. Her name's Goatee. When, when my pa gets the barn, I'm going to do the milking. <laughs> You're up early, Mr. Taggart. Mr. Taggart? That's my pa. You can call me slow. You know how to milk? You just squeeze like that, don't you? Like this. It's really easy. Come here. You try. What do you do that for? Come here, you big baby. You try. You let me? Don't! Slow! I think you should go. Smells Don't good. touch me! I'm gonna tell my pa! No! No! Daddy! Please! Ah! coming. He's got a shotgun with him. I, I, I didn't hurt Jenny. Jenny? I just smelled her. I told her she smelled good. You're touching my Jenny girl? How many times have I told you? You don't touch any children. God only knows somebody see you. They're not going to realize that you're nothing but a child yourself. Pa, save it. He's here. Now you send him out here. I'm gonna take him over to the county seat. Because we got some law over there. You're ruining the whole thing for all of us, little brother. I'm a good mind to blow what's left of your brain up against that wall. You touch him, Gail, and I'll blow your eyes right out of the socket. Uncut that gun. Taggart! Come on out! You ain't gonna be able to hold up in there. Just send out that boy. You know the one I mean. There's three of us. We can kill him. Yeah. We could kill him all right, Phoenix. But there'll be no killing here. Yeah. Put up your guns. I'm going out and talk to the man. You mean you're going to go out there and talk to that fellow without carrying any iron with you? You know, Gail, sometimes I think I have to wonder about you more than I do this... Just smoke them. Shut your damn mouth. Large. <laughs> Mr. Lawrence. Sam Lawrence. Mr. Taggart. Oh, Mr. Lawrence, you... You look like you've got trouble on your mind. Yes, sir, I believe you can say I do. It's about slow. It... I'm in no mind for no small talk. I'm not trying to small talk you. It wasn't his fault. It was mine. Them boys had a bad way of repaying my hospitality, now didn't they? Would you mind not pointing that thing at me? I'm an older, I'm an older man. Huh? Yes, sir. You're really? right. Yes. What's your first name? 
Sam, sir. May I call you by your first name? Yes, sir. Sam, look, you and me, we're, we're both fathers, huh? So I want you to understand that Slow, well, he's never been more than six years old all his life. Yes, sir, but, you know, my little girl, Jenny, she's just a little girl. Now, that boy of yours, I, I, I don't care what age he is, but he's dangerous. I got to explain it. I seated a woman that wasn't too right in her head. Well, that made him not too right in his head. Yes, sir. I can see you've had a cross to bear. Yes, Mr. Lawrence, I've had, I've had a big cross to bear. But now I think I just want to stop running. I uh, think I'd like to find a place to settle down. Maybe, maybe around here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now you're doing some talking. There's land a plenty here, just everywhere you look. Now, see this ridge right here? Yeah. C can't you just see a row of houses just sitting right up there on that ridge? Yeah, and then, and then uh, here, hold this. Yeah. You see right down on and then that draw, right down there, the water is real good. Now, I can see a meat now, pack and Shut pot. up, you big fat mouth! Uh, you got to be one of the smartest hombres this side of the Rockies. You know what, Paul? We could shoot him right now. Gail, get that gun out of Mr. Lawrence's face. Lawrence here was nice enough to take us in. Here, Phoenix, take that while I go in and do some talking to Slow. Pa? Yeah? You know, Gail might be right. Slow does cause us a lot of problems. Mr. Lawrence, you get your big fat ass up in that wagon. And stay there. Paul's getting soft. My patience is running thin. What's he doing to him in there? Our Paul believes that right and wrong begins at home. He's in there laying at two old Slocum for trying to get some milk from your pretty little daughter, Jimmy. <laughs> Strikes you as funny, does it? Yeah. It does, huh? Let me tell you, boy, something. Let me tell you. Someday you are going to have children of your own. You're going to settle down, and you're going to have... Didn't I tell you to keep your big ass up in that wagon? Gail, you and Phoenix get saddled up. Mr. Lawrence, we want to thank you very much for your hospitality. I hope we didn't cause you any inconvenience. And don't go looking for any trouble. We taggers are bad enemies, huh? For God's sake, put your arms down. We can smell you in the back of the house. Mr. Lawrence, you be sure and tell Miss Luann I said bye-bye now. The gun's over by the barn, Mr. Lawrence. Have a nice day. Jenny! Jenny! Papa! Oh. Jenny! Sam! Sam, honey, are you okay? Yes. Are you done? Yes. I think that man is the saddest that I ever ran into. State your business, stranger. Well, my name's Jack Ferris. I buy up mining claims. Mining claims, huh? A lot of folks come by your place here all the time? No, not much. Well, if a stranger come by, say maybe 
Three or four of them. You think you'd notice? More than likely. Mr. Taggins and his sons, Papa. You mean Taggart? Nobody asked you nothing, Jenny. Go on up the house. Well, now, the family name Taggart, that's who I'm looking for. They friends of yours? The Taggarts, they ain't got no friends. Well, what's your business with them, then? Well, let's just say they give me something. I want to give them something in return. Mister, I ain't looking to do no favors for them Taggarts. Oh, here. Let me show you what they did for me. Oh, God. Well, they may have left some scars on that little girl of mine, too. They rode out of here yesterday morning about daybreak. Where do you think they might be resting up? Well, sir, that's not a place I've ever been. But that one boy is about 40 miles in the northwest, a place called Molly's. The scar on that little girl of yours will heal up. She's still young. with an old friend of mine, Molly Plantain. All right. Hey, I'll tell you horses. Shut up! Molly Plantain? You mean Molly Plenty? Well, she's got a house here that uh, will give anybody a lot of pleasure, and we're going in and get some. <laughs> I'm not going in. You're not? No. Let me talk to you for a minute. What's on your mind? While you were gone, uh, I began to think that all my life had come to no good. And, uh, well, I met this man one day, and, and he talked to me, and he gave me a Bible. Uh, and ever since then, I've been a, a God-fearing man. When I lost you, I found Jesus. And, and don't laugh, but I feel like a better man for it. Well, I'll be damned. <laughs> what do you think of that? Well, you know, man's got to go down the road he thinks that is the road he's got to go down and should go down. I got a road I'm going down. Well, you and Gail go on in. Every man's got to make up his own mind. Yeah. Well, my mind is leading me right in there, and that's where I'm going. <laughs> Obi Taggart? That's you? Molly. Plenty. My little sweetheart. Ah. Oh, oh. How long has it been? You naughty old man. Well, it has been a long time. I've been away, but I'm back now. You naughty little girl. <laughs> oh. Oh. I gave you up for lost. Lost? I went into mourning. Oh, I know. Listen, I want you to meet my, my two boys. Gail, that's slow. Well, just look at this. Strong, handsome, and hungry for love. Oof. Say what you got, it's prime. All depends on what you're looking for. Boys, this here's Lizzie. Uh, Lizzie. Uh-huh. That's Bertha. That's Loretta. She reads a lot. That's Sally. They say she's lined with velvet. What you reckon that fellow wearing lined with? So, you're the two guys. I think I'll make me some room on that couch. I think I'll be getting another drink. Molly, listen, I'm gonna talk to you about my son Slocum. First time he's ever been in a place like this, see? Kiki. Hmm? Kiki's Perfect. She's new, too. Where is she? Upstairs. We'll go get her. A woman used to have more moves than a checkerboard. What you read, little girl? Les Fleurs du Mal by Baudelaire. 
Baudelaire. Baudelaire. Who? Baudelaire. What's that Baudelaire fella? What's he talk about in that book? Dark tales of naughty girls. Are you a naughty girl? <laughs> Let me see a little something. I always like to know what it is and I'm buying. You first. Show me a little bit of something. I want to see what I'm selling to. It's going to have a long, hard night. <laughs> Little girl, my slocum, he wants to see some more of those pretty legs. This is Kiki. And this is... Get it, oh. nigger. Slocum. This is Slocum. Wanna dance? Change the music. <laughs> what you looking at? They're gonna be just fine. I hope so. I come from across the ocean where a woman knows how to take care of a man. You foreigners got a mighty peculiar way of getting ready for a poke. Let's just see if you can get naked standing on your head. You can start with my stockings. Me? All right. You know, if I could stand on my head, we could just get ourselves a poke upside down. Take the other one. Don't you talk? Come on. Let's go upstairs. <laughs> Don't be afraid. Why don't you and I go in the back room? What you got in mind? Little old times. Huh? Huh? Your brother's in there. What the hell is this? My back started aching. I thought by now you'd be snuggled down in a nice warm tub, ready for me to come and scrub your back and scrub all those other little special places you used to like. I used to love you scrubbing my back and all those special little places. <laughs> well, what are we waiting for? I don't want any scrubbing. I want rubbing. What do you want me to rub? My feet. You want me to rub your feet? That's not the OB Taggart that I used to know. Molly, I ain't the OB Taggart I used to know. Swing her, girl, now, swing her, now. Well, I'm gonna swing her upside down. Put me down. I'll put you down. <laughs> you just slap Gail Taggart, little girl. What you need is a good spanking. And I'm gonna give you one right now. <laughs> They're having a good time in there. Oh, like a pillow. <laughs> Why don't you take your clothes off? I, I get cold. What's the matter 
with you. What are you doing in a place like this? I'm gonna tell all the other girls that you're just a big baby. No, oh, I'm not a baby. You're just a big oh. baby! Oh, That's good, good crying. Is she the one with slow? Yeah, I think it's the first time. Hell, it's his first time, too. He don't know bear shit from Wild Honey. Don't you know they're having a hell of a time? Rubbing feet. Mm -hmm. mm. OB? Yeah? Can I ask you a question? Go ahead. Why did you want me to rub your feet? It's the only thing that'll swell up. I think I tell the other girls to call me a baby. A what? A baby. She's only a baby herself. <laughs> well, we'll see about that. I'll fix that right now. Obi, Obi, listen to me. We've got other girls. That little girl's going to become a woman right now. Come with me, son. <laughs> what? Get your mama and boy being a baby. <laughs> shut up. Uh... And you shut up, too. What's going on in here? Why'd you have to bring him here? This is my first time. I don't care if it's your first time, you're 50 I'll die. Hey! You're interrupting my fornication, you hear? Do I hear? Listen to this! Huh? I think he hurt you. Ah! I think he hurt his gill. Bye, Paul. Mm -hmm. Bye, Paul. Who's that over there? That's my third son, Phoenix. The God-fearing one. He didn't even want to meet you. You know, faith's a funny thing. It's here one day, gone tomorrow. Much like 12 years. Well, Molly, whoever I meet, wherever I'm going, I'm going to tell them to stop by here and they can have themselves a, a real good time. Only those with money? After that ruckus last night and the damage? What? Which way are we headed, Paul? We're going to Placerville. Right off in there. You and the boys saddle up. I'll catch up with you. I want to talk to Molly. Ma'am? Come on, Phoenix. Let's go. Chicago! Holly, here I, I want you to have this and give some of it to that little first time girl up there and see that she gets to school, huh? And there were some of it you used for all that stuff we broke up in there last night. The rest for you. <laughs> Just for, for memories. You know what? My feet feel real good. about a loan. Well, I never thought the Irishman would still be here. Well, where the hell do you think he'd be in Hong Kong? Many people see he's cheated. I'm surprised somebody ain't closed him down. Shot him. Morning, Sheriff. Morning. There's the boarding house. Let's get down there and get a couple of rooms and we'll unsaddle right there. Paul, look who we got come to welcome us to town. Come on, girls, tie up. O.B. Taggart. Uh, I heard you was a getting out, but I didn't reckon that you'd come back this way. Well, I wasn't expecting to, Sheriff. <laughs> Am I right or wrong, but hey, ain't you put on a few pounds? <laughs> <laughs> no more than you have in years, O.B. <laughs> State your business. Now, my business is honest. 
If it wasn't honest, you wouldn't know anything about it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right, say hello to this man. Morning, sir. Yeah, this is the man who turned me over to the bed so I could do 12 hard years in the cave. No hard feelings. How long are you planning to stay in Placerville? Yeah, I don't rightly know. We just got in town. Look around, it seemed like a nice place. Yeah, you've been a thorn in the side of the law all your life, Obi. But like any man, you've got a right to start over. Well, I aim to do just that. I, I ain't planning on going back to jail, Sheriff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they... I want to do right, Sheriff. I want to do something good before I meet the big warden in the sky. Uh-huh. Morning, ma'am. Looking for a good time, mister? You work here, do you? Well, yes, I just began. I reckon my side was older than you are, ma'am. <laughs> Tell your boss that I'd like to have a few minutes with her. Thinking of trying one on, cowboy? The name's Paris. Jack Paris. I'm Molly Plantain. My friends call me Molly Plenty. Did one of them recommend this place? I'm looking for O.B. Taggart. Well, you're here now. It's not yet high noon. I've got uh, three girls for you to choose from. You can have all three, honey, if you like. I'm the brother of his dear departed Clara. And uh, I got a lot to talk to him about. Did they by any chance say where they might be heading? They must be in Placerville by now, resting up. There's not much to do in Placerville but rest up. Come on, cowboy. Why don't you come inside? Pick up your heels. Sorry, ma'am. I can't accommodate you today. Pa seems to be changing. We must be getting close. Then what's he want to borrow from the Irishman? You still don't get it, do you, Phoenix? Just say it plain. When O.B. Tiger walks soft around any man, especially a sheriff, can only mean one thing. He don't want nothing getting in the way of what he's got going on. Pa says to come get you. Pa, it's mighty tough to tear myself away. All the excitement going on out there. Nice place to rest up, Pop. Yeah. Where's your privy? Right out back there. Thank you kindly. That your boy? Yeah, it's one of them. The other two, mine too. I I'm one too. I just told her that. Slow. Dollar fifty a night each. Eight dollars for the week. And Pop, won't you take the whole week? We're gonna be around here for a while, ain't we? Uh. If you stay on, we'll change the price. I've got number four with two beds, and number five is a double. We'll take them both. Rachel, would you show these gentlemen to their rooms, please? Uh, Mr. Taggart and that one will take number five and the other two in number four. Fine. Here it is. Yeah, here it is. Slugum. Slow. I'm sure the two of you can sleep in the same bed together. Male side ain't very big, besides we're kin. Oh, God. Hello, Mr. Taggart. 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 Hello
mister. You have a tear in your sleeve. Oh. Right there. You know, if you give it to me tonight... How old are you? Never mind how old she is. Fifteen. But I'll be sixteen soon. That's it, miss. That's all we want. We don't, we don't need you anymore. Thank you for showing us. Fine. I'll tell Mama you enjoy the room. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Oh. Slocum, mm. why did you keep asking questions about nothing? Pa, uh, tonight. What about tonight? Don't snore. Snore? Mm. I don't hear nothing. Where are you going? I gotta go over and see the Irishman. Listen, while I'm gone, oh. you, you keep your buttons buttoned. Mm. You understand me? Oh. Mm. Oh. Now remember, buttons buttoned. Waddling off across the street. You know he walks like he's got a gold nugget up his ass and wouldn't drop it for a dollar. You know, maybe he is going to make a home. No, not him. He just steal whatever he needs, to keep from owing any man. Then why is he going to see the Irishman? Speed, he's going to play this thing out till the very end. Just keep us hanging. I'm getting too old to go chasing around after that old man, hoping for a legacy that he don't want to give me. I'm leaving you. I'll kill you first. You know, Speed, Paul always told us that you ought to give a man one last request. It's yours. Let's go get some whiskey. I don't know where it says in the scriptures that a man can't have a drink at the end of a long day. Howdy, mister. I don't believe I know you. Just rode in. Is the Irishman in? I ain't sure. I'll have to check. Oh, me. Not you. Yeah, that's, that's me, Irish. Uh, Benji, let Mr. Tiger in. <laughs> now I know who you are. You're O.B. Taggart. Now you can go in. Expecting you, Mr. Taggart. Irish, what the hell is all this formal bowing for? Do Irish a favor. Get rid of that smelly stogie. Never change. Be here. Well, 
you want to wash up. What's the matter? You're not afraid of me, are you? No. Do you like my hair? I brush it 50 times every morning and 50 times every night. Pa said not to let nobody in. It was lucky that you were there with me 12 years ago. After I made the heist, I gave it to you. Otherwise, those marshals would have stolen my loot. Eighty thousand dollars. I kept in a safe place. All right, you tell me where it is, and my boys and I'll start digging it up in the morning. No, not necessary dig. Don't tell me you got it someplace hidden around here. You think I crazy? Be very big mistake. Many of my best customers are very dishonest people. So nice and pretty. So is your hair. Pretty. I'm sure your brothers would give me something more than that to say to a girl. I'm different than that. I'm Pa's favorite. <laughs> <laughs> you're strong. And you're handsome. Probably the strongest one in your family, aren't you? I don't like to fight. Show me how strong you no, are. No, don't touch, little girl. Little girl? Little girl? Does this look like the petticoat of a little girl? Go away. Pa told me I can't play with little girls. It's OK. Your papa's out somewhere. Your brothers are out, too. Even my mama went to go visit a sick friend. So you see, it's just you and me. <laughs> All by ourselves. All right. Where is... Where is the gold? The bank. They use the money you steal from them to make money for them and for you. You mean I... I got $80,000 plus interest? 80% of same. 20% is my fee. One fifth? Why, you pipe smoking skin flint? Careful how you talk. I have Irish temper. <laughs> <laughs> My fee for common crooks is one half. But you different. You good father. Always take care of your sons. You gonna buy a home now? Settle down? No, Irish, maybe this is not the right time for that. You see, I gotta take my last born slow to St. Louis. St. Louis? And the prison doctor told me that they got some good doctors in St. Louis that could maybe fix him and make him right. Very expensive. But very important to me, Irish. You're not so little. Hey, I didn't say you could do that. I'm going to get your pa. Oh, 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 please, oh, 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 you. Please, you. Please, you. Please, you. Please, you. Please, you. You lied to me. You lied to me. Oh, you told me to. Oh, 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 oh. You hit me. You hit me.
Boys, ain't gonna be too long around these parts before land is gonna be worth a dollar an acre. Mark my word. Bye. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. You got enough damn land and you're already wealthy. Sure. I got a funny feeling after this hand. I'm gonna be a little bit Yeah, I think so. Look at that. It's Jack Harris. Dear God. I'm gonna tell Paul. You get his shotgun. He's gonna want to finish this once and for all. Taggart in here. Gail! What are you doing here? He's alive. Alive? Who's alive? Jack Paris. That's who's alive. Jack Paris alive? He's looking for us. Here, Pop. Back. My God, this feels like family again, Paul. Down a few days, might as well put my name on the bottle. It's Taggart. You understand? Taggart! I don't want no trouble in here. If you be Taggart. He's Taggart. Them two there's his sons. Jack Ferris. Thought you was dead. Not hardly. Warned you, Taggart. My nephew, the dumb crazy one that lives up to his name, slow. I want him. You mean you came all the way here to this town to kill that kid? That's right. I come to put him out of his misery. That way he won't have to feel guilty about doing this. Gonna kill him, Jack. You gotta kill me first. I'm gonna put a bullet through your heart, too, for all the misery you caused. And what you done to my sister. Where are you gonna do it? You gonna You gonna do it in here? In front of all these people. Go out in the street, old man. <laughs> out in the street. <laughs> Jack, we've been going out in the street all our lives. Yeah, yeah, I'm old. Used to be fast and quick. And you, when you was younger, there was nobody faster. Now I owe my boy Slocum my life. The other two, they don't even like me. Hate my guts. I've never known, Jack, what it was like to be liked. <laughs> never knew love. Till I met your sister. What are you saying? Our time has passed, Jack. It's over. I think we should... Take our hate. Put it on the bar. 
have a drink of whiskey. OB, I never did want to shake hands with you. But I will now. God bless you, Jack Paris. Got a little something for you here. Oh! oh Jesus! Watch yourself. May he rest in peace. Amen. Gail! What have you done? Paul, that man's been wanting to kill you for years. The thought of losing you just broke my heart. You all saw it. It was self-defense, right? We all did, right, boys? It was self-defense. Go back to your card game. Taggart, what the hell goes on here? Everywhere you go, you cause trouble. Is this your way of being honest? Sheriff, that man went for a gun in his vest pocket. I saw metal. I shot him. Well, you saw metal and you shot him. That's right. I saw it myself, Lawton. It was self-defense. <sighs> Here's your metal. That's the lock that gave Clara when Slocum was born. You got more problems than the death of a gunfighter. What are you talking about? You're a dumb one. Slocum! Yeah. I left him alone. Hold up! Hold it, hold it, hold it! They're calling us murderers. Rachel Saxby was found dead in your room. Her neck was broke. What has it got to do with my slogan? The dumb one was seen running up for those rocks. Now, what does that add up to? Let's go get a posse! Get a posse. No! Get a posse. Hold it! Hold it! Let me go get him. I'll find him and I'll, I'll bring him back. All right. I'll give you that chance. But until the dumb one is found, I'm going to keep one of your boys for security. Phoenix! All right, Pa. I'll stay. All right, now. Let him pass. No! Let him pass! Quiet, let him pass. All right. Let's go. We're fine. I'll be back for you, Speed. What do you reckon that sheriff's gonna do to us if we don't find Slow? Slocum's my son. We'll find him. Slocum! Where are you? Don't be afraid! Oh, I think I heard something. Huh? Back over there. I think I heard something. Deal. Stay with the horses. I gotta talk to Slow. your paw. Slocum? It's your paw. Oh, oh, Paul. Oh. 
It's me, boy. Oh, oh God. It has to be like this, huh? Uh, she, she got me all mixed up, Pa. I didn't mean. I got. I, I want to touch. I, I just want to touch, Pa. Oh. What's going to happen to you? Good God, boy, after I'm gone, who's going to take care of you? We can have a, a play. We, we can have, we can have ducks, and we can have cows. Mm. Yeah, I, oh, we can have corn, and, and, and when it gets dark at night, the stars come out, and the, the moon. Right. It's so bright. Goodbye, little brother. You didn't have to bring him back that away. Did you think I was going to bring him back for you to hang? Oh. I want my other son. I want Phoenix. Well, I'm, I'm going to have to make out some kind of report. I'm going to have to bury my son. Ah. Huh? God bless you, brother. Saddle up. Out back. There's room in the churchyard. You can bury him there. Thanks, Sheriff, but Slocum never did get along with strangers. Now, we're going to take him out of town a piece and bury him someplace out there under the stars so he can have something to look at. That's it, Paul. Huh? Want me to read from the Bible? No, Phoenix. Well, I think it's only, only fitting that I say a few words. Lord, Slow wasn't much on talking himself. The boy wasn't, wasn't too right and wasn't fit to take care of himself. Tried to do everything I could, Lord. In fact, we... We all did. That's right, Paul. Shut up! 
Lord, I think that Slow's gonna have a grievance against you because you're not taking care of those that can't take care of themselves. God can't be blamed. I wouldn't blame you, Lord, if you took it out on me being an old sinner. Be right. But I don't hold much to the sins of the father going to the going to his sons. I don't think, Lord, get slow. He's ever gonna forgive you. I know I ain't. Well, let's, let's get moving. Where to, Paul? Oh, we'll, we'll get holed up down here someplace. In the morning, I gotta get in to see the Irish. I got business. He's lying, Phoenix. He's going to give us the slip and go for the gold. He's got it stashed up here somewhere. Isn't he? he don't mean to give us one cent. We're going to force his hand. Come on. You're going to need this, Paul. What? What do you mean? Uh, you, you keep it yourself. I ain't got no use for it unless you tell me where to dig. Dig? Ever since you got out of prison, we've been heading in one direction. All right, one direction. So what? Well, we know you was going to take slow to St. Louis to those fancy doctors. Sure, Pa. So you had to dig up that gold first. Every penny of it for Slocum. Nothing for me, nothing for Phoenix. You was going to spend all of it on that loony. That loony don't need it no more, Pa. And I want you to... Both listen to me. And I want you to listen to every word I say and listen real good. And what you both have done just now, I could kill you both and not fear nothing. You ain't gonna kill nobody, old man. And just in case you forgot it, it was the two of us that helped you heist that gold 12 years ago. And we mean to get our share of it. <laughs> Gail, don't you know that gold is bad for you? Phoenix, you with that gun. Remember when I told you that anybody that pulls a gun on O.B. Taggart and cocks that gun, is gonna have to keep that gun cocked the rest of his life. Maybe so. But you were a lot younger then. And we ain't little anymore, Paul. And we ain't fooling. Shit. Hear me? Shit. Don't let him get to his shotgun speed. I got him covered. <laughs> I was just thinking, you know what, boys? I deserve this whole damn thing that's happening up here on this mountainside. <laughs> For bringing you into the world, even if it's a whore that couldn't be true to one man. And you, you phoenix, Coming out of a slut, wanting to bring you up in some kind of fancy house with God knows what. Don't take the name of the Lord in vain, old man. God. Oh. Don't worry about that. You ain't no friend of God. Pa! Huh? Our patience running mighty thin. Now, where is that gold? Remember, we're family. Family? Ah, uh, shit. We ain't family no more. Now get your asses out of here. Get on your horse and get your lives out of my life. Maybe it is better this way, Speed. Are you crazy? No. Maybe we ought to just run down to Texas and join up with a cattle drive or something. Well... Okay.
Good luck to you, pal. Don't take any wooden nickels. Now you two remember! And don't forget! We're not family anymore! your age. Oughtn't to have to work that hard, Paul. Yeah, especially when he's got two big, strong sons to help him. Boys off on the wrong trail. Cattle drive my ass. Reason is, you lied to us, Paul. Yeah, after you told us never to lie to each other. So you came to get your share. After 12 years of waiting. 12 years is a mighty long time, Paul. I own flesh and blood, you don't trust your own paw? We don't need you no more, old man. We know where that gold is buried. But you know that money is the root of all evil? Yeah, but without it, you're nothing. What are you planning on doing? We're planning on reading your last rites, Paul. Phoenix, take that pistol. Can I have one last request? Of course you can, Paul. I gotta pee. You go ahead and pee. But first, where's that little sawed-off shotgun you always carry? Over in the scabbard on the horse. You know, I hear that anybody that gets it for the first time, I, they lose all control, pee all over themselves. Yeah. You know, I, I don't want to end up a dead man with one wet leg. Gail, that gun ain't here. What? Gail! Phoenix! Uh -huh. Get your ass away from the back of that horse. Keep your hand away from that, that gun, too. You hear me? Don't you move, you bastard. I never move you make. Wait a minute, man. Uh, you know, Gail and I could have been dead wrong. But you and me, we can make a deal. You know, the first part of what you said, you were right. You're dead. It's a long and rocky road From the cradle to the grave When you find that what you're owed Is more than what you pay And a bullet don't give a damn If you're a cow or if you're brave It's a long and rocky road Slocum, I got the money from the Irishman. Yeah, I gave him his cut. An old pipe smoker. I gave some to the widow woman for her daughter so she'd have a decent burial. Your two other brothers, I killed them. I killed them dead because of their greed. Slocum, you was always talking about that spread you wanted someday. Yeah. Yeah, it could start over here and end up out of sight over here. I did it all because I loved you, Slocum. Lord God, you made the world. You made everything. You made gold. But gold is getting in the way! A man 
man who has it all in the way of what he owns. It's aimed to have so much except when he's alone. But then the truth steps in. And takes him by the hand And tells him That he's nothing but a lonely man Money without love Is never quite enough It can't keep you warm when you are cold Money without love is never quite enough It can't keep you warm when you are cold Every man needs someone When the going drop Money without love His heartache's made of gold Money without love His heartache's made of gold 